Welcome, welcome, my beautiful signs and souls of the Zodiac. I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your general tarot and oracle card message for September the 11th. 2021 you know taking a very quick look at these you know at these messages here today um it's leaving me you know feeling a little bit reflective and reminiscent of a time gone by a date that we will never forget it's indelible in all nations memories you know we all know that september 11 2001 was a trade center attack in the u.s and it impacted the whole world and all nations to pay attention and all of us wept for all those souls that were lost so you know when i looked at this reading today and i noticed again the date i thought to myself as i shuffled and these cards showed up I always take the ones that come out of the deck. I ask Spirit and my guides to send me the messages that we need to hear. And these came out. So I do believe that looking at this reading, it's reflective of days gone by. And that, it, that, it, that, that, that energy often will reflect on people who had those incidents and that particular tragedy impact them personally. So I send out my love to all of you people today whose lives were impacted by this event. So starting off with your reading, we have the Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Swords says that, you know, we have this ability to get up in our head and worry about things and think that we can't go forward. And we get up in our head and we believe that things are not going to work out before we've even attempted to see the picture in complete clarity. So this is, you know, you, you don't need to stay in this present situation if you're unhappy. So wherever you are right now, if you're not comfortable, you can leave it. Although you may feel there's no way out, look again. There's always a way out of a situation. Um, you know, we have a way of processing uh I'm going to say, my guides are saying, there's an escape route. There's always an escape route. There's always an alternative way of looking at things. So, you know, there's plenty of possibilities for freeing yourself from any situation that could make you feel this way. And you know what? You want to move forward into a healthy and harmonious direction today. First, though, you're going to feel, you have to feel more confident about your abilities and believe in yourself and keep your thoughts positive right now. And that's the key. That's the key to freedom. And that's the key to success right now. Okay, stand in the truth and of this situation and then go forward with faith. Sometimes this card refers to confusion and feeling helpless and, you know, and being reflective and even losing ourselves in a thought pattern that makes us reflect on what happened in the past that perhaps left us feeling melancholy. So don't have this tendency to see yourself as a victim today. See yourself as someone who learned, who learned something from a situation in the past, who grew from that, okay? You know, that situation taught all of us that life was precious, as so many of these tragedies and these incidents and situations in the world right now are teaching all of us that we need to step up and, and make ourselves a better people, make ourselves the best version that we can be today. Don't be afraid to take action today don't put yourself in that path of fear don't let fear lead you on that path today okay sometimes this is just a matter of seeing a picture in complete clarity when we don't have all the information uh when we don't look into everything when we assume when we jump to conclusions we're not thinking clearly okay so focus on this situation see it clearly then you're going to realize that you're not going to have any reason to put yourself in this headspace. And you know what? Never give worry any rent space in your mind. Okay? Let it go. You've got to stay positive today. Because what it's doing here, my beautiful signs and souls of the zodiac, and myself included, is it leaves you in a space of worry. And again, you've heard me say this. Worry never solved anything. Okay? So it leads to stress. It leads to and stress leads, leads to physical problems, and also it can lead to sleepless nights, okay? Sitting there or laying there and, you know, allowing things to get up in your head and expecting the worst of it out of a situation. So let it go. See the picture in complete clarity. Don't allow yourself to presume, assume, and think 
that things aren't going to work out before they've even occurred. <clears throat> okay, so the only thing that we can do right now is live right now in this one moment in time. Just focus on where you are. If it's at nighttime and you're in bed and you're having difficulty sleeping, some people need to put their little headphones in and listen to beautiful music. Sometimes it's, you know, the sound of the weather, the water, the waves, the rain. Maybe it's some positive affirmations you need to reaffirm and put you in your confidence level, taking you out of that that negative situation and energy around you. So do what it is you need to do at night. Put yourself in that position at night to clear your mind and not think of the things that are keeping you awake. So stay positive, see the picture in complete clarity, and get your rest. Okay? If you're having unpleasant dreams at this time, write them in a journal and, you know, bless them thank them for setting you straight and for bringing it out and opening your eyes and opening your your mind to say you know what yeah this is crazy i shouldn't be worrying about this and thinking about this and obsessing about this and losing my sleep about this now your third card coming in is the eight of cups and the eight of cups talks about walking away from something you're definitely moving in a new direction you've you've you know you realize that there's a better future out here for you so you're placing yourself in that energy circle, okay? Um, you're choosing to leave a situation that possibly was a negative, toxic, or painful one, okay? These, those situations can leave you feeling empty. And maybe this is where you were. Maybe some of you were in a situation or a relationship that left you feeling this way. And you finally built up the courage, you've thought about it, and now you can move forward in this new direction. You're searching for something more. And often we search for something more spiritual when we walk away from these situations. We look at them, we learn from them, we grow from them, and then we move on from them. Okay? So don't deal with the feelings of burnout right now. Don't worry. Okay? You could be feeling the need to move on. You know, maybe what, what interested you in the past or any of us in the past lost its charm, outlived its life expectancy, and you're seeking more meaning and rewards at the end of that path. Some of you have grown spiritually and emotionally and you yearn to leave the past behind and these changes will bring you benefits that you want. You're looking inward for answers. Don't let anything distract you from your true path. If you feel a void in your life, fill it in a healthy way. Some of you might be relocating. You might be moving. You might be changing your job. You might be leaving a relationship. You might be moving to a different location geographically. Moving on. And that's beautiful. Now, you know, I want you to think about, I want you to think about letting go, not worrying, and seeing a picture in complete clarity, and that's going to allow you to feel free to go in this new direction. You're not there yet. It's a card of balance. It's a card that says, you know, you need to get all your ducks in a row. You need to cross your T's and dot your I's and see that path and true clarity to go forward, but you definitely are moving on from something. Now, you have the sacred space card here, and that is use beautiful art, music, and creative creativity of all kinds to put you in a sacred space. So this all makes complete sense. When you are having difficulties, when you are in a stress situation, when you're losing your sleep, and all you want to do is leave that situation, create this sacred space. Create that space that's going to bring you some peace and harmony and happiness. That's going to allow you, okay, to feel better about yourself. It's going to allow you to process and rejuvenate to move forward in a new direction, okay? Sometimes, you know, we have to be a little bit creative about making these spaces for ourselves. So whatever it is, you may want to set up a room for meditation. You may want to play that music to start your day off. You may want to listen to those positive affirmations of gratitude, grace and gratitude, or the I am powerful, you know, messages that can come out. Whatever way you feel you need to start your morning, and I always like to do it in the morning, and at night I settle down so that I'm not worrying. And at night if I need additional energy, then I, I'll listen to some of them as well. But I always end my day with saying thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So all those lessons, all those trials and tribulations, all those challenges that I've dealt with in the day, I've learned from. 
And I thank the universe and the divine for teaching me that tomorrow's a brand new day to start fresh. Well, I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic outcome. As we all reflect and think about today, um, let's, let's give grace and gratitude for where we are right now. You have this opportunity to move on in a new direction, to leave these worries and leave these problems behind. So I think some of you will be doing that. And you've taken yourself to a beautiful place of peace by being able to do that. But it's taking time. You're not there yet. Okay, you're thinking about it, you're working towards it, and you know there's a better place you want to be. Better future. I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful week as we move into it. And always remember that we need to continue to play safe, stay safe, and be safe. And I'll see you soon. Many blessings and much love.